do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter morphology of flowering plants in that we are studying topic types of flower we all have seen flowers of different shape and sizes today we will be studying what are the different kinds of flower present and how are they differentiated types of flower now before we start the what are the types of flower and how are they differentiated we need to know about whorls whorls are nothing but parts of a flower now whorls are divided or parts of the flower divided into two different types essential whorls and another one is accessory whorls when i say essential whorls androsium and gynoecium are the essential whorls if they are not present reproduction in flower would not take place and the plant would not grow whereas accessory whorls are those whorls even if they are not present still it would work out an example of this could be corolla or you can calyx one of those now depending upon whether essential whorl is present or accessory whorls are present plants or you can say flower is basically divided into four different types complete flower incomplete flower perfect flower imperfect flower when i say about complete flower complete flower will have all the four whorls present in itself for example it will have androsium gynoecium corolla calyx stem everything is present your rose or china rose or hibiscus all of them are complete flower next one is incomplete flower now in incomplete flower any one of the whorls or any one whorl part would be absent an example of this is sweet corn or maize you can say which is also an incomplete flower the third type which is bisexual flower or you can say perfect flower now this flower basically will have stem and and carpel present it will have the male gametophyte which is androsium stem and or the female gametophyte which is gynoecium carpel or pistil present in simple language we can say both the essential whorls are present with them the last kind is imperfect flower or you can say bisexual flower now in this type what happens is any one of the essential whorl is absent and when i say essential whorl is absent then it would create a problem for reproduction process an example of this could be apple flower or you can say during the reproduction of apple fruit imperfect flowers take part types of flower now whenever a flower has all the four whorls present in itself that is the accessory whorl and the essential whorl both are present then that flower could be called as a complete flower example is your rose incomplete flowers has any one of the whorl and another whorl or you can say part would be absent which is your sweet corn now when i say about bisexual flower or perfect flower they have both the androsium and gynoecium present in them basically you can say both the accessory whorls are present in them china rose
unisexual flower or you can say imperfect flower has any one of the essential voles or you can say accessory voles present. Majority times essential voles either androstrium or gynostrium one of them would be absent in the plant. Example is apple. Students in this part of the chapter we have studied about types of flowers depending upon which kind of world is present in them or absent in them. I hope you all are clear about this concept. Thank you.